You may have seen some of these headlines in the media in recent weeks. How the coronavirus pandemic is making the earth vibrate less, or how the UK sees a notable reduction in seismic noise caused by human activities. But what does this mean, and how can we see this? My name is Paula Kulemeyer, and I'm a global seismologist at Royal Holloway, and I will briefly explain this phenomena. For that, we first have to understand what seismic noise is. And you can see that in this uh, recording of an earthquake that happened in Crete in early May, recorded on st stations um, in the UK, from London to uh, Scotland. Now, in blue, you see the earthquake recording that arrives first in London and then arrives later in Scotland because it's further away from the earthquake. But because our stations are recording um, continuously, you also we also pick up the background seismic noise levels before this earthquake arrives, which you can see in yellow here. And it's this um, normal seismic noise level, this background seismic noise level that people have been looking at. Started by a, a seismologist in Brussels, Thomas Lecoq, people have been producing this um, type of plot, which shows how the average seismic noise level has been changing over time, from, from March in this case to mid-April. And in this red curve, you can see the daily average um, with a difference between weekdays and weekends. But we, what we can see most noticeably is since lockdown on the 23rd of March, we see decreasing noise levels during the week, um, which we can attribute to a decrease in our human activities. And even when we look at the longer time period, we can see the same thing. Here you see an average uh, before lockdown, um, which is about 20% higher than if you compare it with the average after lockdown. And this is just one station um, in residential London, but this is seen all across London. Um, at a, here you see 11 different sites um, as plotted as these circles, showing the decrease in seismic noise level since lockdown and since Easter. And all of these are plotting in blue colors, which means that all of them are showing a decrease, which in some cases is up to 50%. Now, this phenomena is not only observed in London, it has been observed all across the world. Um, seismologists using the same code provided by Thomas Lecoq have been analyzing their signals. And here you see some examples from Italy, the US, Belgium, Spain, uh, Mexico, that are all showing the same thing, that we have a decrease in our background seismic noise level, which is showing us that people are staying at home and obeying governmental guidelines to stay at home and save lives. And what it also shows us is that we are not alone. We are in this together all around the globe to tackle this pandemic. 